Welcome back. Let's spend a minute talking about some of the terminology around curve shifts. So I've gone ahead and set some of it up for us. So an increase in demand or an increase in supply means that the curve shifts to the right. And a decrease in demand or a decrease in supply means the curve shifts to the left. So why is that? So let's assume that we're in a relatively competitive market. If we're in a relatively competitive market, that means that buyers and sellers are taking prices as given. They're responding to price signals and making decisions about quantity. So they receive a price, they see it, they observe it, and they adjust their quantity appropriately. So think about it this way. If you decide for taste or preference reasons that you want to maybe uh, try and take better care of your teeth, so you go to the store and you see the price of a tube of toothpaste, you take that price and you make a decision about the quantity that you're going to buy. If you decide you're going to try and improve your dental hygiene, then you're going to buy more. That price hasn't changed, it's the quantity that's responding. That's our story here, right? Buyers and sellers get price signals and then they adjust their quantity. So what does that look like in our supply and demand diagrams and for supply and demand curves? So if we think about a demand curve, if we have an increase in demand, then it's going to shift to the right. Right, so this is an increase in demand. At every single price, the buyers are willing and able to buy more than they were before. So maybe everybody's motivated to improve their dental hygiene. So this increase is a shift to the right. So we'll just label that as shift to the right. What about a decrease? Well, it's just the other direction. Right, so a decrease means that now buyers are willing and able to buy less at every price. So a decrease we draw in as a shift to the left. For supply, similar story. An increase in supply means that at every price, sellers are willing and able to sell more. So at each price, they're willing to sell more, willing to sell more, willing to sell more. So an increase in supply is this curve shifting to the right. So this is our increase in supply, and it's a shift to the right. Versus a decrease in supply would be the curve shifting to the left. So a decrease means shift to the left. Now I know this terminology can be confusing the first time through, maybe even more times than that. Why not use the terms up or down? Well, where is the adjustment process happening? The adjustment process is happening in quantity, and quantity is on our horizontal axis. So which directions are horizontal? Left and right not up or down. Further, if you think about supply, if you were to say, oh, well supply goes up, wait, 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 but an increase to the supply is actually moved to the right, which almost looks like it goes down. So unless we're talking about a change in price, try not to use the terms up or down. One final tip, something maybe worth remembering. If, you, if you're struggling to remember, well, wait, which way is an increase and in which way is a decrease, you could just remember that left is less. And maybe that's a quick shortcut to remember which way the curve is shifting. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.